And it looks like it'll be Kennen versus Renekton. Should be pretty good matchup for Kennen, I think. As I'll swap these around. Okay, so both teams moving fast out of the gate. This should be a good one. And uh, Taylor Swift fan club, Welcome as they usually do, are making a beeline for the blue. Uh, they are moving as five. Volibear, of course, with his lack of boots. Not in such a good way. Sniper Worm predicting where they're going to be towards the blue, so they'll be able to see them clearly. And it looks like uh, the Lotal Faction has scouted uh, Taylor Swift's level one strategy to perfection. They are going in. We'll see when they move in, and we'll see who gets the jump on who. The level one team fight should be quite explosive. Okay, they're moving in. Ooh, and they're going to get spotted out, I think. Yeah, they're going to get spotted out. They see them. Lotal Faction needs to make a move. They need to make a move. Oh, but they... They miss their opportunity as they swing around. So unfortunate. And now they know exactly where they are. And they are still staying as a five while as the Lotal Faction is splitting off to their lanes. Yeah, this is pretty tricky. 4v5. Volo Bear's going in. Sniper Worm getting caught out. Has to flash. It is 4v5, so this is not in the favor of the Lotal Faction. They're gonna have to run. I think Sniper Worm's dead, yeah. Definitely. They stayed 4v5, and it paid off. Loto Faction had a chance to jump on them, but they missed their opportunity, and Taylor Swift took full, uh, full advantage of that. And now Sniper Worm has no flash in lane. And with that, Remstars will... It looks like he's circling around again, possibly to, to make another play. Where is he going? Okay, look, I thought he was gonna make a play on Zack, but he's deciding to just go to his jungle. He is already level 2, so he is already ahead of the general. And uh, didn't doesn't look like Crud Monkey has lost too much in top lane. Uh, the wave did get pushed to his tower, but he should be able to farm most of that out. And uh, yeah, it will be standard lanes, 1v1s and 2v2s. So, not, not a good start for the Lotal Faction. They definitely had a big misstep there in the beginning. Uh, the kill, I believe, went to Twitch as well, so that's also very dangerous. He didn't go back to buy yet, though, so that's a good thing. He didn't start the lane with, like, an extra longsword or anything like that. And uh, Remstars, looks like he's making his rounds. He's, gonna f he's actually going to donate his blue to Annie, so very generous. Good guy, Remstars. Yep, and Annie will happily take that for laning. Not that Annie really needs the mana regen. Uh, so long as she last hits with Q properly, her mana shouldn't be an issue. And Rems looks like he's possibly coming around to gank mid. Uh, he's thinking about it. The general now, meanwhile, moving towards his red. Oh, actually, no, he's leaving it, and he's going to base first. Doesn't want to get caught at his red, I guess, and have Rems jump him, playing it safe. Rems still camping mid, though, but it looks like he's finally given up and going back to his jungle. Meanwhile, looking at the lanes, Annie already up 23 CS to 12. With that blue buff, though, she will be able to spam her W, uh with impunity, so that is very good for her. And she'll be able to use her Qs for harass as well. So that's very, very good. Kennen warding top, and Sneaky D's pinging that out, saying, hey, this is warded. Probably can't come in through this way. Uh, looking at the bot lane, CS is fairly even. 
top lane CS is also pretty even. Uh, the big question will be when Twitch goes back to buy, see what he can pick up with that uh, goal that he got off the first blood. Both teams playing pretty conservative though. Uh, the big story right now is in the mid lane with uh, Menthol really pressing the issue on Ryze. Ryze does not have uh, a good way to really keep the lane under control early. So... But the general trying to make a play in the mid. We'll see if he wants to go. He's waiting around. But I don't see anything coming from it. Thresh getting flipped in bottom. And of course Rem is there. Thresh still has no flash, so that is another dead sniper worm. So quickly, 2-0 lead. And as I predicted, Rem with all that kill potential in the bot lane with uh, Volibear and now a pretty fed Twitch, uh, he'll be visiting bottom more often than not. He'll probably be turning a blind eye, quote unquote, uh, towards the solo lanes at this point. Just trying to snowball the Twitch as much as possible. As we see actually Crud Monkey getting jumped on, picking a fight at the wrong time. He was not six yet. And uh, Sneaky uh, getting to lane uh, earlier was able to get the level advantage. So, at least he was able to make that extra time in lane worth it. Uh, it did give Taylor Swift the first blood, but Sneaky was at least able to uh, use the experience and get the jump on him. Crud Monkey probably wasn't expecting that. And Twitch coming back for a six minute BF Sword. Very scary. Very, very big power spike. Tristana hasn't chopped yet, but I doubt she'll be able to match that as we see Rem's... <laughs> what Rem has left behind for the general, uh, the little blue wolf. And Soul Seizures really needs to farm up, really needs to get caught up right now. And he's uh, ahead of him by quite a bit. He has already gone back for a, a Blasting Wand, so that's uh, another big power spike for her. Her Tibbers is down though for a little bit, so... He won't have to worry about that for too much, but he can't get careless. And oh, Rem's coming around the side. Soul Seizures didn't see him, but oh, no stun up for Annie. If he had had stun up, that could have been a kill. Uh, Annie's Ignite wasn't up, but that would have been close. It would have depended if Rem's really wanted to go hard for it or not as uh, he did not have ulti yet. Oh, and it looks like bot lane continuing to go aggressive. Nice uh, flay to uh, whip Volibear backwards. But uh, yeah, bot lane for the Lotal Faction looking uh, very bleak right now. They are down two kills and Twitch is uh, much, much stronger than Tristana at the moment. As we see the general passing off the blue buff to uh, Rizzo. So he'll help himself to that. As we see Sneaky Deeves continuing to force the issue onto uh, Kennen. Kennen taking a chunk of damage. And the, uh, the general, I believe he's... They may have pinged him out or they might have been telling... That might have been his team telling the general to fall back. We'll see. But... I think blue team knows something is up. And uh, in the meanwhile, the blue the blue has respawned for uh, Remstars and company. Uh, we'll see when he decides to hand that off. Or if he'll take it for himself. Looks like Annie's going over to get it though. Taking a look at the CS count, uh, Sneaky Deeves has made himself a nice lead. Up 64 to 53. Uh, mid lane still in uh, largely in Annie's favor. Up by a, about 30 CS. That is a very, very big number. And uh, Kennen uh, going ham, burning ult. Lee Sin is there. Sneaky Deezy immediately flashing out. Knows that uh, he cannot afford to fight both of them. Especially since Rem has red and ulti. So a good escape right there. But nice attempt at a bait. As, oh, that's probably a dead Tristy. 
Oh, actually, no, the, the Buster Shot does save his life, so... Well timed by Sato. Saved, saved himself right there. The Volibear Bear flip. Just cancelling out the jump. As we see Menthol getting a little low right there. Remstars does come in, but uh, he should get spotted out. And, uh... Yeah, it looks like they have spotted out the general through a ward. They know exactly where he is, so nothing will come of that. Oh, as we see uh, Twitch moving up, again the jump gets uh, gets cancelled out. But they go a little too hard that time. Sato did still have flash, so... Oop, a oh. <laughs> Little bit of a blooper right there. Oh, as, the, as Rem gets caught under tower, immediately safeguards out. Annie flashing in with the tippers. Very, very nice. Soul Seizure's caught sleeping right there. So one bear hug, and that is a dead rise. I'm not sure if he had blue buff up when he died. If he did, that's most likely a refresh for Annie, and that's not good for the Lotto faction. Uh, looking at the gold lead, just passing the 11 minute mark. Uh, it's uh, 14k to 12.5. Rems and the general kind of butting heads in the jungle, but they both decide to just back off. And Rems will help himself to a blue wraith. So far, Rems doing a very good job of making his presence felt in all the lanes. Um, as well as taking the time to counter jungle whenever he can. And in the, the bottom line, something you don't see very often, the 280 carries fighting each other by themselves. But Twitch probably wants to prioritize the creep wave. Oh! Actually, Volibear uh, going hard on Tristy, but uh, she will get out. Apologies for that. So far, Sato has been doing a very good job of escaping uh, all the attempted pressure from bot lane. And uh, he's keeping up its CS pretty alright, only down by about 10. That is definitely still recoverable. Sneaky Deep still maintaining his lead up top. And uh, his flash will be down for a little while longer though, so he does have to play a little bit safer. In the mid lane, uh, Soul Seizure still behind by about double the CS of Annie. Or half, half the CS of Annie, I should say. <laughs> Volibear continuing to try to Rolling Thunder, but no luck. Uh, once he has Flashback up, though, he might be able to get something. Ow! Big damage right there. Ryze is going to have to get to his uh, items as soon as possible. Looks like Ram has just finished his uh, jung jungle clear, so I'll expect to see him to uh, see what he can do for the lanes now. He might try to gank mid. Uh, Tibbers is up, and uh, his flash is up as well, so it's possible. Ooh, Sneaky getting poked down. The range from Kennen really hurting him. Nice stun. And Kennen does have all of his uh, summoners and ulti available, but decides not to go for it. As we see, Volibear again, trying to scare away Tristana, successfully done. But she'll still be able to farm that up, no problem. Blue gets passed once again to Rise, And he will head back to the lane with that. Still no plays on the Dragon yet, uh, both teams playing pretty safe. Blue team very much content to just keep farming, getting free gold. The Lodo faction is still very much in catch-up mode, now down 18.4 uh, to 16. As, oh, sp just as I say playing it safe, we see <laughs> Taylor Swift going for a four-man dive, but... They do get scouted out, and uh, it looks like Rem might get collapsed on. Oh, the, the death sentence does miss, so they will be able to just back out. As the top lane still duking it out, but uh, that top 
that bottom turret has taken a ton of damage. Constantly being pushed up, so that will go down very, very soon. But Lotus Faction was at least able to avoid that, uh, what could have been a catastrophic dive. That was a lot of, uh, a lot of damage heading down to them. And, uh, looks like, uh, Crud Monkey has managed to make up the CS deficit, so the CS is now, uh, all but even. Lee Sin's still hanging around, but Volver just can't get any initiation going. That with that flay. And looks like Rem wants to try to circle around again, but that is warded out, so they should know that he's there. Oh, Annie going for the damages, and she does get it. Rise's cooldown's not short enough yet. He does not have any CDR as as of right now. Just the pieces of catalyst in the tier, so. The defenses from the Molten Shield plus uh, the blue buff just allowed Annie to pick up that kill right there. She is now firmly in control of this lane up 119 to 69. And there goes the bot turret as expected. Good job by the blue team right there to force that issue. And that should give them control of the dragon. That is warded out, but I'm not sure if the purple team could do anything about it as uh, the general is all the way up by his red. Soul Caesar's just respawned. Yeah, this should be nice and free. If anything, they'll get a timer on it, but more global golden experience going towards Taylor Swift. Now up 23.2 to 18.7. Just approaching the 17 minute mark, this is game one between Taylor Swift Fan Club and the Lodo Faction. As uh, we see Crud Monkey continuing to uh, push Sneaky D's back with that range. Sneaky can't really do anything but just hope to farm on the turret at this point. Uh, fighting him at this point probably wouldn't be the best strategy. Taking a look at the items, uh, the makings of Azonias on Kennen. He'll probably be going back for the needlessly large very soon and possibly level 2 boots. And uh, Sneaky uh, building that Sunfire. That will protect him a little bit from the auto attacks from Kennen, but uh, it won't protect him from his spells, obviously. It should help him a lot later in the game, though, once they start team fighting. And uh, Rem, now up 77 CS to 57. Has completed his Lizard Elder, and he will be working on that Sight Stone. Something that Lee Sin's very, very much like to have uh, for constant ward hops. The General, meanwhile, has been sitting on a Philo Stone, and uh, we'll see what he continues to do with that uh, Spirit Stone. See which item he builds it into. Annie with the makings of a Death Cap now. Very close to it. Once she, when she hits that power spike, her burst will be very, very dangerous. And meanwhile, Soul Siege is still with no major items. He did buy a Negatron, but at this point, I'm not sure if that's uh, going to help him too much against Annie. She'll probably still be able to all-in him regardless. And, uh, let's see. Oh, so Twitch has finished his IE. Sato is very close to finishing IE, has all the pieces. But uh, Twitch very much in control right now of that lane. Very much ahead. Nice kickback. And the expunge will finish him. No problem. Twitch can just <laughs> attack from so far away with that ulti. Nice and safe. The general does come in with the let's bounce. Very nice flash stun by Annie. Sato is dead. Nice double kill pickup. Again, very well-timed flash tibbers by Menthol. <laughs> Making my favorite champion look so good. And there goes the Zac passive. And one more. Yep. The general is down. For those of you that don't know, Tibbers also did receive some buffs previously. Uh, he has more health now and he has more MR. So, um, much beefier 
of a summon. If you could call it that. So with that, quickly two mid turrets fall. And it looks like uh, Taylor Swift will be helping themselves to the enemy blue. And Annie will get a nice refresh right there. She is very, very, very rich right now. She'll probably look, be looking to spend. Yep, she has over 2,000 gold right now. So that is a death cap and then some. Probably the makings of a void staff, I would imagine. And I'm not really sure what the Lotal Faction could do at this point to come back. Sneaky uh, trying to keep the lane in a good position, but eventually, with the other lanes already down, they're probably going to force top at some point, so... Sneaky needs to either try to get the tower as soon as possible, or he's just going to have to resign himself to the fact that he's going to get 4 manned eventually. And just as I say, at least Sin is already top. Good job by Rem to uh, make sure that that turret does not go down for free. And it looks like uh, Rem has the makings of the Aegis of the Legion. He's going to be getting tanky in a hurry. And Soul Seizure still hasn't quite finished his Banshees yet. And oh, Annie going for the Haunting Guys. Extra penetration is always nice. Lee Sin kicked back, yes, yes. Tries to use the Thresh Lantern, but nothing doing. Still dead. And Kennen has now completed his Zonias. That's a really important item for Kennen as well. Making uh, his ultimates a lot safer to jump into the middle of the enemy team. He'll be able to protect himself. As, ooh, we see Tristana getting very, very low in the bot lane, being forced out by Twitch. Twitch already with a zeal and level 2 boots. It's a lot of extra attack speed on Tristana. Although Tristana does have one of the best attack speed steroids in the game. Uh, she just can't compete with Twitch's damage right now. Oh, is Soul Caesar's dead again? Yeah, he's dead again. Very nice uh, movement by Menthol. Moving up first before putting down his last spell just to make sure that he'd be in range in case Soul Caesar's did choose to flash. He probably wasn't sure if it was up or not. And it's just quickly snowballing out of control. Now a 9k gold lead for Taylor Swift. But Red Stars does get caught out. Ward jumps over. Not really sure if he needed to do that. He could have just ward jumped to one of his uh, allies. But nonetheless, a very nice collapse by the Lotal Faction. Catching a couple of kills right there. Uh, 3 for 0. So some much needed gold in their hands now. Ryze is going to have to do his best to try to force uh, Twitch off. And it does look like Twitch is backing off. Unfortunately, no red buff for Tristy, so uh, Cannon will be able to make it out. He will be forced to back, though, and they should be able to take this turret. And this will be their first turret of the game. As we see Twitch popping ulti, but the general is there. I'm not sure if they have the damage, though. Yeah. Ryze doesn't have any armor items yet. Does not have his frozen heart. So that was a very poorly chosen time to stand his ground. He probably should have respected Twitch's damage and just ran. So just like that, after that uh, 3 for all, more free gold for Twitch, who now has his Phantom Dancer. And is probably going to be looking towards finishing that uh, Holy Trinity for 80 carries. The Last Whisper is probably on the way. Another Dragon getting picked up by Taylor Swift. Now up 38k to 29.4. They may have their eyes set on Baron very soon. Baron, known to be kind of a noob trap where you throw the game, but Taylor Swift looking pretty confident right now, uh, so they might make a play for it. We shall see. Woo, Crud Monkey going very, very hard. And uh, because he's so far ahead and his team is so far ahead, he can do things like that. The General does not have the damage to threaten that. 
So, uh, looked like Twitch was coming up potentially to make a play, but looks like the team has thought better of it. They're going to just back off, spend their money. Taking a look at the gold difference right now. Uh, because of all the towers, dragons, top lane uh, is quite ahead, about 8.4 8 to 7.3. Junglers, again, they were even-ish. Uh, Rems was pulling ahead in CS around the middle of the game, but this is the global objectives. But the main story right now is uh, the two carries, Annie and Twitch, both at around 9.5k to 5.7, 7.3 respectively. That is just a lot of, a lot of items. And for that matter, it's just a lot of free stats in their levels. You do get quite a bit of uh, gold for free in terms of stats when you level up, so. And it looks like Taylor Swift is content to just keep the split push up. Twitch is still forcing the issue on bottom. He should be able to 1v1 practically anybody on the team right now, even Renekton at this point. And Kennen still being the annoying Yoro that he is, just kind of moving in and out. Making sure that that lane does not get pushed back. And Rams looks like he's sniffing around possibly for a play. The jungle is pretty much Rems is for the taking at this point. He has access to basically everything. It's really been starving the general out for gold. And this also means that his own team uh, can help themselves to their jungle and it's not going to affect Rems at all. As we see that Annie has indeed completed that Void Staff, now sitting on a lot of Magic Pan. So she is doing a lot of damage. That Negatron Cloak isn't going to be blocking Nathan's hot dogs at this point. Uh, Soul Seizures does finally finish up his Rod of Ages. We see Annie getting caught. Death Sentence does land, but the damage output is just too much. Ryze is going to try to pick up as much as he can, though. Renekton is there, so that's a nice pickup right there. This should be able to pick up more as Sato finally joins the fight. But, oh man. Rems does go down, but at what cost? That fight probably would have went a lot better, I think, for the Lolo Faction if they just had more gold and more items. But because they were so far behind initially, even though they got the initiative, they just kind of exploded. They took care of the mid, but then Twitch was still there, and he was like, you know what, I'm just going to clean this up. And he now has a double buff. And yeah, that is a free inhibitor. Can't do nothing about that. As we see Slayer is now with an Oracle. So that's going to be uh, most likely to keep the Baron blind, as well as the surrounding jungle area. Lodo Faction is going to have a very hard time uh, getting picks now. Looks like Kennen's going back to finish off his Abyssal Scepter. And uh, once Twitch finishes farming out that bot lane, he'll most likely have his Last Whisper. In fact, he already does have it. He could probably buy something even greedier if he wants to at this point, although Last Whisper is probably on the table for him. We shall see. The general finishing the Spirit of the Ancient Golem, and as I was saying before that fight erupted, uh, Soul Seizures has finished his Rod of Ages. Yeah, and it is a Last Whisper for Twitch, as I thought. Pretty standard, nothing surprising about that at all. Just straight up damage. Good old Fed 80 carry. Looking at the tops for the Lodal Faction, Sneaky Deebs has been doing his best to try to keep farmed. He is sitting at around 230 CS, and he is sitting on some health and defenses. We'll see what, which uh, major item he chooses to prioritize next. And once again, we see the jungle just being invaded by Remstars, and he will swing over to Baron, and it looks like they are going to start it. Again, the Lodal Faction have no idea that they're doing it for sure. They probably suspect something is up at this point. Uh, they might just have to concede it though, because I don't think they're going to be able to stop them anyway. Slayers is getting a little low though. He is tanky. He has been tanking that for quite a bit and is not, not very tanky right now. <laughs> but they do manage to get it down, so... 
Menthol kind of hanging around to see if anyone's going to check, but nothing doing. He was probably prepared to drop a bear over the wall, just in case. Yeah, and now with the Baron buff, it's going to be very, very hard for the Lotto faction to get any kind of momentum going in fights. They're pretty much going to get stretched at this point, and by stretched I mean uh, since one inhibitor is down, it basically forces uh, s at least one member of the Lotto faction to hold that lane and keep the creeps off the Nexus turrets, and that's just going to leave the other lanes to uh, free pickings for Taylor Swift. And yeah, there goes the top inner, the last inner turret actually. And now the base is open, Twitch pushing bottom. Uh, they're going to have to send somebody to deal with that. Well, oh, it looks like they're not. They're just going to try to all in him right here with the Baron buff. It's very, very uh, unusual choice right there. I guess it's just a last desperation fight. This fight not going too bad for the Lotal faction though. They did manage to burst down a lot of people. Only losing uh, the jungler and the support. The carries are still alive. And Sato is trying to catch up. But... Oh man, he, he, wants, he wants that kill, but I don't know if he's going to go for it. Does flash. Oh, the buster shot. Not enough damage. And he will go down. Rem's just too tanky. And Soul Seizures did have to run back for the, for the Nexus. Twitch is going to kill him. Yeah, and that's it. So, that fight didn't go horribly for them, but of course, without Twitch there, he was able to just take the base for free. So, that will be game one going to Taylor Swift fan club.